Hey everybody, it's Joe the 3D Printing Professor at the Makerspace today because I am doing a repair that I have already done like twice and now this is the third time that I will be doing it and it's been the same problem every time that I've been doing it so I thought that I'd make a video about it explaining the fix. Now this is something that you might see your 3D printer is extruding filament a little bit slowly and if you showed people pictures of your print online you'd oftentimes get the response that you've got a clogged nozzle or that you need to think about uh, replacing the nozzle but that is not always the case and in fact in this case three times it has been the same problem now, i'm not going to string you along the problem is the cooling fan on the front of your 3d printer well it's oftentimes on the front sometimes it's on the side but all 3d printer hot ends have a fan that's blowing above the hot end not the one that's blowing on the nozzle though some 3d printers split the flow so that it goes on to both but you want to talk about the one that's going above the nozzle on the body of the extruder because that one cools the extruder and if it's not turning if it's not going for any reason then you will see well what happens is is heat backup and that will look a lot like a jammed nozzle but all you got to do is take apart your fan find in it the uh, piece of filament that's stopping it from spinning usually you see that from the back side there it is yeah and then test to make sure that the fan is spinning when you turn it back on and everything should be good to go now why does this work and why does a little piece of filament in your fan stopping it from turning cause a problem that looks a lot like a jam nozzle let's dive into that 3d printing is a mechanism of heating and cold you want the filament to get hot hot enough to melt and come out of your nozzle but you also want it to not melt and get hot because you want it to be able to push the filament out now heat transfers and it even transfers along the length of the 3d printer filament filament will transfer heat to itself so how do you prevent the part of the filament that needs to remain not hot hard enough that it can push the other filament out how do you ensure that that stays cool while the stuff at the nozzle gets hot without transferring heat up into the rest of it well the answer is with a cooling fan uh, the other answer is you just have a much much longer feed path so that the heat never transfers all the way up there but unless we all wanted to have 3d printers with nozzles that were a foot long or maybe six to eight inches then a cooling fan is a quick way to make sure that that middle section is where the filament stays cool but then at the nozzle is where it gets hot and this transition between cool and hot we call the heat break you want it to be hot below the heat break and melt but you want it to be cool above it and a fan is a great way to do that in conjunction with those little metal phalanges that are sticking out that increase the surface area catch that cool air and transfer it to your filament to keep it cool and that's really it it's it's really not any more complicated than that if you are seeing what looks like a nozzle clog the slow stringy it's it's not putting out as much plastic as it should check to make sure that your fans are running first because that's a much easier thing to fix than having to replace a whole nozzle getting a whole new part as long as you can just unjam the fans and it starts running again if you notice that they're not running you'll probably have your problem fixed of course you might still have to repair a nozzle or two over time but check the fans first it's a quicker and easier fix anyways that's it for this video i hope it helps you to make something awesome and i want you to remember that you are a child of god so you're special to me so take care of yourself and if you can someone else too i'll see you next time